It's a very good afternoon and a warm welcome to it. It's The Couch Time, proudly brought to you by Chicken Inn. My name is Howard Msonza and this is the biggest football show anywhere in the country right now. We are looking forward to having a great conversation. The Couch is jam-packed today. Yes, Howard, it is really packed. I'm Shamin Swag, and it's good to be here again as we discuss football and football-related issues. So our topic for today is does FC Platinum and Triangle have what it takes to leave a mark in Africa? In the studio, we have a man who knows all about Cup Interclub competitions. So let's say hello to former Dynamo's captain, Justice Majavi. It's good to have you on the couch, too. Thank you. So tell me something. Have you actually retired from football? Yeah, for now, sure. Ah. <laughs> I'm out of football now. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. All right, the couch squad is not complete today. Makombarero Mutimkul is not around. Uh, but uh, we have to do with Momo's uniquely different opinions. Are you ready? It's complete. How can you say the couch squad is not complete? You're not enough. It's me, there's Jamara here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, Jesse, I'm, I'm not trying to, to look down <laughs> upon you, yeah. but this guy is trying to grandstand in front no, of you. Oh, no, no. I know him. It's complete. You know him. I know him. I know him. Mm. Yeah. It's complete. It's complete. Yeah. Okay. Me and Justice. But are you ready? As usual. Always. You are born ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always ready. Hi, Shasha. Hi. <laughs> Where are the glasses, though? <laughs> Today I can see better. You're like teasing us, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't forget uh, to hashtag the couch when uh, giving your views about the topic today. Remember, both teams have already made it to the first round of the CAF Champions League and CAF Confederation Cup, respectively. FC Platinum got the better of Nyasa, big bullets of Malawi by three goals to two. On aggregate, wild triangle dismissed Rukinzo 5-0 on aggregate. And our guest artist today is... HKD boss Freeman is in the house. It's good to have you, HKD boss. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this past weekend, we mm. launch your new album. Yeah. Gango. Gango. In any, when I think of Gango, I think of Gango. I think of Gango. In brief, I Gango Re. I Gango is a mix of different types of genres and types of artists as well within the Gango album project. Because I know a lot of people are not even expecting with the, I can do a song with, with Macheso and with the other voices that goes to your group. Yeah, the, like the songs we take Gango, and besides that, my songs are, uh, 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 I can say they are di they are different from my previous album um, project. Mm -hmm. I was just touching on every angles, like a real things in real life. There was nothing in name, but it, it made, like it helped me to 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 to, to come up with the the Gango thing. Mm. So before we we. Get into the music. Yeah. Your type of music. It dance or it? Can I go from Gango or it? I go to the free men. I come go over yes yes. Ah, I'm just a, I'm just a musician. Yeah. It could be sungura. It could be gospel. Anything. I can just be there as long as music is concerned. Mm. Yeah. Unofa ra bore. <laughs> Which song are you going to sing for us first? First? Yeah. I would like to go on with Gango Tetra Trek, yeah? Okay, let's yeah. do it. All right. Dini Nduguma Pangurira, okay. Simplex music. Okay. Doctor, big guy, you away. I can get this lie. Big guy, you away. Up a good even. Kango, Kango. Mono was a good and good in the I can get it, doctor. Big guy, you away. I can get this lie. Big guy, you away. Up a good even. Only thing you were number one cooker. The Puma, Uno Biga. One of my customers, I go good bigger. I'm a business. It's a good 
My dog over Goku Punta, Une Network is a Gauri Busta. Chicago Chango and Chirunga, Wagazi Sayan and Zaravanga Tunga, Gango, 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 and a special for where good Arika Nepano, and my big man, we have Zoko Pamasano, Punaganamu, and a city good of Testa Gango, 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 Yanku, and a sang and his squad. I can get a doctor, big I can get his lie, big I will Pagu Yerevan, Gango. with us uh, here on the couch today. Thank you very much for that song, Freeman. So today, um, our topic is does FC Platinum and Triangle have what it takes to leave a mark in Africa? But for now, we first look at other football news. First up, we take a look at Warriors midfielder Marvellous Nakamba, who finally made his debut for Aston Villa last night in their EFL Cup second round match away to fourth tier side crew, which ended in a 6 1 demolition for the home team. Uh, Nakamba, who was uh, still working on his fitness and did not take part in Aston Villa's first three games, two defeats and a win. Last night, uh, he played in a holding role and was given 7 out of 10 rating by their leading local media house, Birmingham Live. And this is how they summarized his performance. They said he's a very slick operator. It has to be said, anchored Davila's midfield well, and things uh, will only get better for Nakamba in Claret and uh, Blue. Now, uh, Mo, I know we are all looking at marvelous Nakamba. Yes. Yeah, because uh, in terms of world football, he is one of Zimb Zimbabwe's uh, biggest exports for now. Yes. So I'm, I know you watched that game. <clears throat> How did he fare? Uh, I really liked it. You know, the approach to me was uh, every game is the same. No matter the opposition. Like you look, uh, the game yesterday, they were playing a team in Division 2 or third tier, but he just put in a brilliant performance. So the sky is the limit for Marvelous. He had a marvelous show yesterday. <laughs> Just, it, it, I don't know, is it coincidence or what? Because this is the same position that you played. The same position that he played. Mm -hmm. And uh, you went as far as, uh, you know, Vietnam. You went to Austria. You went to Tanzania. Still playing in the same position. Now, this was just a cup game. Mm -hmm. But we want to see Nakamba playing in uh, the league proper. Do you think he did enough to get into that first 11, the preferred 11 that plays week in, week out? Of course, uh, I think he, he did well, you know, and if you, if you look at the, um, we, we cannot say it's a small team, the team they played against, but I think it's, um, it's good for him, it's a stepping stone, he has to feel the, uh, uh, the league itself, how strong it is, and these small teams coming in the cup games, they usually give you the contest of the Premier League, and for me, I think uh, he was okay in his position. Mm. Mm. He was okay, according to Chief Justice. So we certainly hope that he did well to earn a place in that uh, first 11 that plays week in, week out. 
And the Zimbabwe national women's football team plays Zambia today in the first leg of their second round Olympic qualifier at the Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka. The second leg is at the National Sports Stadium on Sunday. Zambia finished second at the recent Kosafa Women's Championship in South Africa. While we were third and there is a great rivalry between the Mighty Warriors and the Shipolo Polo. This time there is only one place for Africa at the Olympics. There were two when the Mighty Warriors qualified for Rio in 2016. So from uh, the Mighty Warriors, uh, there are seven Castle Lager Premier Soccer League fixtures that are lined up today. And uh, Herenshaw's first uh, Dynamos at uh, Rufaro Stadium informs that PC Kariba host will our chief set in Yamunga. Raman Gumba will be looking for his first win when he's tell one side face Yada at Ascot. Chicken in playing Gezi Platinum Stars at the Baobab in what could be an explosive tie. Shawani Stars are at home against Manika Diamond at Trojan. Wanga face champions FC Platinum at the Colliery, while Caps United have a tricky tie against Black Rhinos at the National Sports Stadium. On Thursday, Triangle host Giants Highlanders at Gibo, while Harris City face Chapunga at Trofaro. Out of today's clash with the rentals, here is what coach Tondera Indiraya thinks of their campaign. When you, when you work uh, in our institution, um, there, there isn't much time, but I think people must understand where these boys are coming from. They need some bit of time. But uh, it's work in progress. We'll keep working hard, um, keep pushing the boys, and really try to, to get them to the level where we want uh, them to get to. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, we'll get there uh, quite soon. We still have a lot of uh, games to play, and um, I'm hoping that we will keep improving and hopefully get there uh, soon. So that's the Dynamo's coach, Tony Ryan and they've got a game against the uh, Chief, I, I know you are Dynamo's. You still supporting the team? Oh, of course. Sure. I think I have 99%. 99%. <laughs> so, is he Dynamo's? He just said he's Dynamo's. 99% more, it gives you Dynamo's. <laughs> but I know something else. He's not Dynamo's, Dynamo's. It's also what, do you, what do you know? The one percent is lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. Ninety-nine percent okay. is dynamos. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. they've got a crucial game against uh, Herenchos. Mm -hmm. In the reverse fixture, they were beaten mm -hmm. by by Herenchos, mm -hmm. but Tondera and Deraya was not there. Yeah. But I know you know Tondera and Deraya very well. Sure. Yeah. What has he changed at Dynamos? Uh, since he came, you know, he changed firstly the uh, the approach to the games and the attitude of the players. You know, the way they were taking games and uh, considering uh, how they were performing, it was totally different. Right now, it's a team, you know, they are competing, you know, probably the same squad which was playing in the first round. You know. And um, of course, they know the position uh, their way before, comparing to today, it's quite different. They have improved much better. And uh, I think Tondera has done a, a big job uh, from the, the day he started until now. For me, he has done well. Mm. Let's see yeah. how he does today yeah. against Herenshaws. While Chicken Inn, who face Ngezi Platinum Stars minutes from now, believe they, had n they have not been consistent enough. We hear from their coach, Joey Antipas. Now uh, we're just um, trying to work game by game. Yeah, I mean, you do uh, turn, uh, turn your eye to what's happening up at the top. But um, still too early to even talk about uh, championship. We just try and go game by game, and I believe that um, uh, in the very near future we'll be picking up points and um, we'll be having a consistent type of play. Because uh, if you're talking about title, you have to be consistent. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, we're not consistent at all. But I uh, believe that we'll get there. So that's Joy Antipas Chicken in coach. When the season started, Mo, this was one of the teams that we thought they would be. Well, they are still up there, but yeah. they have been inconsistent. That it really hurts. You know, there was a time that FC Platinum were playing badly and they even went to the top of the log. But mm -hmm. because of the inconsistency, mm -hmm. they, they, they were knocked out of there and uh, they have been struggling ever since, despite having, they you know. Good quality players. Howard, in terms of uh, manpower, in terms of the players, the quality, 
I think Chicken Inn on paper is only second probably to FC Platinum in terms of the main power. It's Chicken Inn, FC Platinum, Caps United, in terms of the quality on paper. And Chicken Inn actually went on to replicate this on the pitch. But I'm going to tell you how Cliver goes to Chicken Inn has scored 28 goals as we are speaking right now before today's match. 14 of those from Cliver goes to. That effect is going to show. I think they cannot hold on at the top uh, unless they find another gunslinger as soon as possible. He has scored 50% of their goals and he's gone. So it's mm. going to be tough going ahead. And we can even look at the, the lock standings more. Uh, they are in mm. position number four yeah. right now. 32 points they've got. Yes, a healthy goal difference from the number of goals that you were talking about because when the season started, mm. they were hitting teams four or five, four or five, and they've got a healthy goal difference. They, I think they've scored, um, uh, be, well, behind uh, Caps United, they've got the second highest number of goals scored. They are on 28. But that position on the log, I don't think it 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 it, it, it it's really doing justice, uh, Chief, to what they have got, the material they've got. Just look at that. FC Platinum yeah. still on top. Mm. Yes, they <clears throat> have a game in hand, but they are on top. Then you've got your caps going down, ZPC Kariba. Yeah. Then you have chicken in. With how this log is looking right now, I don't see anyone uh, dislodging FC, FC Platinum. Why? Is this no, objective? Even, it's <laughs> being very objective. FC Platinum, if you look at uh, the business uh, in June, July, when the window was open, they lost uh, the Moyo brothers to South Africa. They didn't lose any big names. The other Moyo brother was not even playing. was not even an, a consistent player. But if you look at the, their competitors, Caps United lost, um, uh, what's his name, the young, boy, young guy who went to South Africa, Gabriel Nyoni. Gabriel Nyoni was making things happen for Caps United. They lost Lloyd Chitembwe. That's a big loss again. And Chicken Inn lost Clive Agosto. So those are the, the competitors for FC Platinum. So I think going forward, it's FC Platinum's league to so lose. So you're ruling out teams like Dynamos. <laughs> uh, Dynamos is out. Oh, you're sitting next to the chief. Dynamos, Dynamos is out. I was about to ask you. Dynamos is, Dynamos is work in progress. So as we look, take a look again at the log standings, mm. just uh, the bottom up of the log standing, Wange, uh, position 10 there. Heron Charles, who are playing against Dynamos this afternoon on uh, 23 points. Then you've got your Highlanders uh, really struggling this season. I don't know, what's, what's going on with these big teams, Justice? You know, I think uh, the problem with the big teams now is uh, they don't have uh, their source of players. Okay. You know, where to get the players is very important. At the moment, they are, not, they, they are just picking randomly from different places, and you want to mix these boys. You know, if you see these are traditional teams, they should have their own system and keep their own system. So they should have the junior police. You know, if they do that, then the development, you know, it, it becomes more relevant to uh, feeding to the senior team. So unlike now, if you see uh, Turkey Dynamos and Islanders, we don't know how they play. But before you could see, this is Dynamos, even from the juniors, you can see the players, they understand. Mm. HKD boss, which one is your team? Caps United. Mm. Caps United. Team. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so Mwanga is the one. I lost Gabriel, you lost Lloyd Chitembwe. So, 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 I'm not even sure who is the question now. It's Darlington Dodd. Darlington Dodd. I'll tell you a secret. I'm not going to shout. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're talking about the Castle Laga Premier Soccer League. So it's on this afternoon, Chicken Inn against Ngezi Platinum Stars. Well, on Tuesday, Warriors coach Joey Antipas announced the squads to face Somalia in the 2022 World Cup qualifiers preliminary round. The first leg will be played in Djibouti on 5 September this year, while the return leg is set for 8 September at Barberfield. Yeah, so as we take a look at the players that were selected by Joe Antipas, uh, Tundara Indira and uh, Lloyd Chitembo, the two goalkeepers, uh, Elvis Chipezeze of Baroka and Talbot Schumba from uh, Chapungu. Um, 
<laughs> I know we had a few day with Elvis Chupezeza, you know, yeah. when uh, Zimbabwe played against DRC. Yes. But look, he has retained his place in the, in the team. Yeah, you can look at uh, Joy Andipas. He has worked before with uh, Elvis Chipezeze. And if there's anyone who knows Chipezeze better, it's, it's Joy, it's Joy Andipas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't know why everybody has got their own team. When a coach comes and picks a team, there's always someone who says, ah, Justice should have been there, more should have played, more should... Let Joy pick his team. We can only judge him after his first matches or after the, the team has played. I'm happy with what he has picked. That's him. Give him his chance. All right, let's go on to the defenders now. Uh, Teenage Hadebe, who is playing in Turkey, and uh, Highlanders right back, McClive Petey, is also in that team. Peter Mudua, also from uh, Highlanders, is uh, part of that team as well. Alec Mudimu of Chefni Druids in uh, Wales. Divine Lunga from Golden Arrows in South Africa. Uh, you look at those defenders, Justice. Um, there's no place for Zingai who's based in Zambia. He was at uh, the Africa Cup of Nations. Mm. Uh, how do you rate this, these defenders? Um, like Mo was saying, you know, um, first and foremost, you know, we, uh, we need to respect the, uh, the coach, you know, for picking them. You know, he has seen something and depending with the games he wants to play. And it doesn't mean when they're playing a bit in Zambia or Europe, in, you, you deserve to play for the national team. But it depends on the coach, the quality, and the type of play he wants to play and who wants to pick. Was okay, there ever, uh, no, there ever, I'm, I'm coming to wait, wait, no, wait more. Was I'm there, coming. Was there ever a place for Zingai? That's what I'm asking. Was Zingai never command, okay, commanded I'm going the, to come. the first team jersey? He never played even in the previous team. But come on, so, you know, the likes of uh, McClive, even you look at uh, uh, Peter Mudua, he was not even called to that team that went to the nation. But we're going to discuss that. Just hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let's go to the midfield. Uh, there is Marshall Munetsi, who's playing in France. Tabanika Musoko from Zesco United in South mm -hmm. Africa. Kurama Hachi of Supersport United. Tichawana Jupunza of Chicken Inn. Uh, Phineas Bamusi from Caps United. And uh, Kaiser Chief Star Kama Billiet. Then we go to the strikers. Uh, they is informed not in the of Le Havre in France. Clive Augusto from Marisbeck United. He's a favorite of Momo. <laughs> Terence Zukamaja from Bidvest Vets. Admiral Musque of Leicester City and uh, Evan Zurusike from uh, Super Sports United. So I like the way you guys are, are, you know, are trying to defend that. You know, when you're a coach, you select the players that you want. Mm -hmm. But when we came back from the Africa Cup of Nations, mm -hmm. that disastrous campaign, Zifa said they are disbanding the national teams. And uh, maybe this is what they were calling disbanding the national team. But you, you, you certainly feel like there is more to what meets the eye when you see a team like this. There is no place for knowledge, Musona. Are you saying knowledge has become so bad that he can't fit into a team that's going to play against Somalia? Are, are we saying uh, players that were excluded? Your talent, Chawapiwa. Uh, you, you also look at Ronald Fumbezai, the two goalkeepers, Ed Mosibanda, George Chigoa. Are they so bad that they can't even make this team? It's not about them being bad. Please get this right. It's change of the technical team. So when I come in, I always move around with people who I know can do my job. Okay? So you are Joey Antipas. Who can do the job for you? There? These are the guys that Joey Antipas can do the, can do the job for Joey Antipas. Knowledge Msona, for one, I think at the moment he's still club hunting. I don't think he's, he's actually fully fit to play. And uh, for the other guys, um, you look at uh, Chawapiwa and Ovidi Karuru, their team is bottom of the log. They only have one point from four so? matches. They are playing badly. Actually, Ovidi only played one, one of the four matches. And uh, Talent Chawapiwa is starting from the bench. So... I, I give I give uh, the coach the benefit of the doubt. Let him work with the team that he wants to work with. Kama Billiard hasn't been playing for Kaiser Chiefs. You only played last night. Yeah, he has, he has played two games. Which but, ones? Uh, the last match and yesterday's mm. match. And Kama Billiard is magic, bro. Knowledge is not magic. No, <laughs> knowledge has not even played. So he's That's not true. magic. I'm not the coach, but I believe what the coach has said. I believe in the team that the coach... I'm going to support that team 500%. I'm okay. going to support the technical team until they play against Somalia home and away. 
and then we see the results. Then we can start talking about who has been left, who is, who, who is what, who is but supposed yeah, to be where. The yeah. time to need them will come. Okay. It's, there's <laughs> always, you know. There's so always, what are you uh, saying? Somalia are not good enough for opponents? No, we we don't know. We don't know Somalia at the moment because uh, one of the, the bottom ranked teams yes, in world uh, football. Yeah, if you see, they they've been having a lot of uh, problems in their country, so they were not participating uh, uh, too much in the in this level. So I'm saying. Uh, it, it, the time to need all the players will come, but for now, maybe because of the problems they've been facing, they wanted to deal with the, what. They okay, you guys are, are too diplomatic. What do you think? I, I was also shocked as well. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, like you got like you said, I'm not going to go now. But it's just that I'm not going to go now. But still, we have to respect the. The coach, the coach. coach. Yeah. That, that's yeah, but in the school, Remember the first leg that will be played in Djibouti on the 5th of September. Uh, while the return leg is set for uh, the 8th uh, at the, the Barberfield Stadium in Bolawai. His provisional squad uh, for the final round of the Africa Cup of Nations against South Africa. The goalkeepers are Martin Mapisa of Elias CF, Tunatenda Ali of Yada Stars, and Nelson Chajka from Gezi Platinum. And the defenders are Morgan Lovu from Highlanders, Emmanuel Jalai from Dynamosa, Munashe Garanganga of Ubuntu Cape Town in South Africa, Andrew Bemba from Highlanders, Tawanda Chisi of Dynamos, Blaha Chiefs Shadrak Nyawa, Romario Matoa of uh, Machala Sport in uh, Turkey, Keith Mutandagari from Krembam Bullets, and Gilbert Nyaupembe amongst the midfielders. There is also one Mutuza from Herancholz, Tatenda Tabayonga from Harare City, Blessing Saropinda of Caps United, Hagazio Magaya of FC Platinum, Bubaga Mofata from Vélez in Spain, Tinotenda Benza of Herentials, Leroy Mafunga of Yada Stars, Nigel Katawa from Danos, Anel Kachivandire of Triangle and, uh, Clive, and Clive Rupia of Caps United. The strikers for Ndirai are Prince Dube from Highlanders, Obiol Chirinda from Chicken in Wilfred Muvirimi um, of Harris City, Delik Murimba of Triangle and Jonah Thabish from Hamburg CSV. You're watching The Couch right here on uh, Zim Papers TV Network. You can also catch us on our website, ztn.co.zw, and on YouTube, we are simply ZTN. Give us your feedback on our questions uh, for the day. Does FC Platinum and the Triangle have what it takes to leave a mark in Africa? Well, on The Couch, we have free men. We have been talking to him about his new album, Gango. And uh, look... I know you have posted songs on YouTube, on all your social media platforms. How are people receiving this new offering from you? Uh, right now, the reception is just amazing, honestly speaking. Yeah, it's just amazing. Especially that duet I did with my chest. So people are not expecting it. So, yeah, it's, I'm mm. happy. But tell me about that song. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to do a song with Baba Shero. Um, with the genre that you were doing, how did you come together and, and produce such a song? I, like I wanted to fulfill the the meaning of the gango thing. Mm. Was without him, it was not going to be a, a marinated gango. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have a marin marinated. <laughs> yes, sir. So the thing is, like I once did that trick alone. I want that, like I, I did that song alone. Yeah, like full project alone. And I was, and, and it was just like, I think if I put. It would make sense, but I could not approach it. it like it, it, like it wasn't easy. Okay. But I had to go to his place. But mm -hmm. sometimes we could have to in our day. I used to drive energy, go go. So now I energy. So I, like I went there with my song, with my full project. I'm going. I got my song. So I think if you put your voice there, it will make sense. So I left the song to him for two three weeks. He couldn't be good. I've listened. Yeah, it's workable. And I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we went there with my producer, Sunshine. We, we worked at his studio in uh, at Aquatic Complex. That's where his studio is. Right. So after we done recording, we took the project 
and we essentially did the mastering and mixing everything. So I then forwarded to him and he, and he was like, yo, I'm liking this song. About it, and this song we must be called Muto Nodes because it's Muto Nodes. All right, <laughs> all right. Yeah, so yeah, it was just amazing. Mm. Yeah, so and I liked it. What's the next song that you're going to play for us? Uh, I don't know the DJ. Any song from Freeman, yeah? Any song from Freeman? <laughs> yeah. Like I did the digits of it. Life is a When you are gonna go, until I need to go, we didn't go up. Oh, skid, you go here to change the money. I'm going to change the visa. I got good idea to teach. I'm left my own digit. Yeah, and it's easy, sir. Yeah, I'm going to get to use it. I got I believe it's a what was in the Zanda Gazit and the good of Gushaya. Escape from the examination in Namayan depends on class. A can depends on the Capica Jas, Chakadaka, to cook and away as you would. Namayan Catigatri is a massas. I send the Kaiba just a Kalis to Chapasua. I put my jacket in the Tigarapasu and the Sekirida. That's an eight to make sure I can go. You pass the Pagera Kungamati. Who are young with Jinji Yakasu? I can detect this a good thing. Well, thank you very much, Freeman. Now, today's topic is Does FC Platinum and Triangle have what it takes to leave a mark in Africa? So, we are going to go deep into this. But from what you have seen, Jesse, you played in the CAF Champions League. Uh, do they have what it takes to leave a mark in Africa? Um, you know, in the, in the African safari, it's not about uh, you have it. It's about your, your plan. You know, if you have plan and uh, ambition, you, you, you succeed. If I, if I, if I tell you, you know, talking from experience, we had the least squad, I think the least performance squad in the, in the group. So when we played uh, in 2008 Champions League, if you see, we had uh, strong teams, uh, Ali, uh, Zamalek, Asek Mimosa. But we, we came uh, from that group. Why? Because we, we knew what we wanted. The, the plan was so good and uh, uh, focus, it helped us a lot. You are not a bag, which I'm using. But. Mm. Okay. Baba. <laughs> Go to to left to my record thing. Don't do any idea. Don't do any registration. But yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah with Ghana's, you beat our Ali at Rufaro. We, we played Mafundo in Tanzania. Yeah, those are small. And then teams. we came and then we played are, our Ali. Our Ali, yeah. And then we went there. Champions League, Egypt. nobody know Tangi, but not our Ali. <laughs> okay. So yeah, he says it's not necess necessarily about what you you have. Mm -hmm. It's about the plan. I think um, 
what is needed more is the experience. If you look at uh, Dynamos, that time they were in the Champions League every year. So that experience, they knew exactly what they wanted. So in short, so I'm saying in now, short, you're now, saying now, so no. on a justice, you this plan, plan. No, issues. no, no. The plan now comes when you have played there, and you know, uh -uh, if we do this, we cannot proceed. If we do that, we cannot. That experience teaches you how to plan. Okay. So F hold on. wait. Hold FC, on Plat more. FC Platinum <laughs> has been there for the past two seasons. You think they are going to just let it go again this time? Hold I don't on. Think so. We are going to yeah. talk about this. I know you had to put in FC Platinum somewhere in there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. He mm -hmm. loves FC Platinum. <laughs> he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't finish a sentence without FC Platinum. <laughs> well, give us your comments on our social media platforms. Yeah. So when we come back, we get into that. Stay with us. At Chicken Inn. We believe that love is timeless. We know that it is the simple moments that matter. Simple moments that become the priceless moments we cherish. We understand that what we love brings us together and that our vows and commitments bind us even closer. And so as days turn into months, months turn into years, and years turn into milestones, we remember the smiles, the laughter, and the things we loved as time and age advance and the blessing of love is passed on to yet another generation. As past, present, and future collide, all that remains are the moments shared together, the memories. All that remains is love. The original Zimbabwean tasty you've loved since 1987. Chicken Inn. On ZT and on this edition, we are discussing whether FC Platinum and Triangle have what it takes to leave a mark in Africa. Don't forget to hashtag the couch when giving us your views. Now, in the past years, teams that have reached the group stages in Africa include Dynamos, Monomotapa, Caps United, and FC Platinum. Dynamos reached the final in 1998 and um, um, under the guidance of Sandy Chidzambwa. They then reached uh, the semi-finals under David Mandigora in uh, 2009. Monos reached the group stages under Rodolfo Lakama in 2017. Caps United reached the group stages under Lloyd Chitembwe. And this year, 2019 FC Platinum were in the group stages under coach Nomen Mapeza. So these are the teams that have really done well. And uh, I know... You both played Champions League, but uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, true. When you look at those teams that we've got, is, is it reflective enough of the talent that we've got, uh, Chief? Because uh, you played, you know, all those years for Dynamos. You went to uh, Egypt, you went all over Africa, and you've seen what other teams were doing. Is that reflective enough that we have only Dynamos, Monos, Gunners, and who have really got into a certain stage where you can say, okay, so it brought up Tangirava? You know, teams, you know, when, uh, when they are looking at the, at the league itself, you know, that gives you the, the context of, the, of your position when you go to the Champions League. You know, if I say for now, these, these are the teams which have been doing good. You know, if you see, they've been getting players, you know, and uh, getting use of them. When you go to the Champions League, um, you you meet different different coaches with different uh, philosophies. You know, they coming other coaches, other teams are coached by uh, the coaches coming from Europe. You know, and the, the North Africans probably they similarly play like more like other teams in Europe. You know. So when you, when you have teams like um, we have FC Platinum Triangle, you know, for now, then the Champions League, you know, it's um, I cannot look down on, up, uh, on them, you know, to say they, they cannot make it. All right. But uh, we don't know what they have planned <coughs> okay. and uh, prepared, you know. Yeah. 
or the Champions League and the Confederation Cup. Yeah. Right, to better understand and uh, what it takes to reach such heights, we look at what those that reached the stages did. Well, we know um, there was uh, the Dynamo's class of 1998, but we start with Dynamo's class of 2008. So in 2008, when Majavi was captain of Dynamo's team, Dynamo's were knocked out in the semifinals. So it was the preliminary stage, first round, second round, group stages, and then the semifinal. That was really massive. And um, uh, in the group stages, they faced uh, the likes of Zamalek, Al Ali, and Asek uh, Mimosa. But still, they found their way through. They were knocked out by Cameroon's court on a sport. Majavi is here with us. Um, you know, Majavi, it was amazing what you guys did back then. Sure. Mm. No, it was not an easy road, you mm. know. No, before, before he says anything, I just want to <laughs> put this across to you guys. Mm. They still haven't been paid for that, <laughs> for that semi-final. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, they still haven't been paid. You can deny it or what I know that they haven't been paid for reaching the semi-final. In 2008, this is wow. 2019. Is that true? <laughs> uh, so I, I think she 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 yeah. highlighted the issue of how massive you know it was for you yeah. guys. You know, starting from the preliminary stage, sure. mm -hmm. you get to the first round proper. So mm -hmm. you can see the stats there. Mm -hmm. You know, you played against Royal Leopards of yeah. uh, uh, the then Swaziland, mm -hmm. now Eswatini, mm -hmm. a three new on aggregate. Uh, you went into the first round against Costa do Sol of Mozambique yeah. and uh, four two on aggregate in the second round. You played against Itwal Du Sahel. Yeah. And I remember that game very, very well. Uh, you know, you played at Kwanzura. Yeah. And uh, you went there, that Benjamin Marere strike, yeah. uh, that gave you the, the, the two new aggregate score. Then in group stages, you played against Asek Mimosa, Zamalek, and Al Hakli, and mm -hmm. you then went to the semi finals, mm -hmm. only to be knocked out by Cotton Sport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that was some journey mm -hmm. for you to get into the semi finals the way you did. Yeah. But look at. What's happening in the CAF Champions League right now? Mm -hmm. You know, it's enlarged, expanded. Mm -hmm. There are more teams. Mm -hmm. Back then, you had the cream, like in the group stages. Mm -hmm. You had the cream, four in this group and four from the other yeah. group. So eight teams. Mm -hmm. But now you've got 16 teams. I don't know. Rachipa uh, uh, I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere. I know, you know, this CAF, you know, they sometimes try to bring in... Uh, uh, some things to confuse you know it's confusing for me it's confusing i don't think it's uh, it's quite well you know because you don't see the best out of the players you know sometimes if you make uh, a, a two groups you know which means you have eight teams the four play in another group and the other it makes you you know a better player because you see and you have a very good competition but you see those games are out of 16 i don't know what criteria they are using and um, it's totally confusing for other teams and they spend a lot. Mm. Mm. I know more is wishing, you know, when they played mm. in the Champions League, mm. uh, if we had the same setup that's there right now, where mm. you've got your 16 teams. What am I to pin the group stage? Ah, my group stage, there's a pin. But the tango is We're still going, going to lose. We were not prepared for, for the Champions League. In terms of uh, who is the in champions, obviously, mm. but you know, for us to go to the Champions League now, we were not prepared. There were no changes in terms of personnel, which means that uh, we just the players that played in the Zim League. There was no experience that we took. We took from the other yeah, team. But you can say whatever you want more. Yeah, but uh, that team was very strong. It was not that strong. Uh, we depended, what do you mean? Yeah, it that was time, not you know, that we were depending on. Um, <laughs> Okay, let me leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're talking about uh, Dynamo's class of uh, 2008. Now the class of 1998 reached the final, only to be uh, beaten 4-2 uh, on aggregate by Asik Mimosa in the final. Some of the players uh, that played in that great team were Captain Mumero Mchirawa, Gift Muzadzi, Chamusani, Tondera Indiraya, Makwinji Somapiri, uh, Lloyd Mutasa, Desmond Maringwa, Jojo Usu, Love Monube, Hallington Shereni, Masimba Dinero. Now, Justice... How did this group of players inspire you guys? Because in terms of money, you know, the monetary incentives, it was different from you. Yeah, though more, you know, says um, what you did in 2008. Mm. But how did those guys inspire you? You know, um, what, what, uh, what inspires players, you know, when you're at a club is uh, the history of the club. If you don't have the history of the club, you are not inspired. You know. 
So looking at Dynamos at that time, you know, they had uh, gone for 10 years without winning the, the local league, you know. So it was a f an another step to, to get the local league, then get to the, to the Champions League. Going to the Champions League, we also were carrying the, uh, the previous record left by the other guys, you know, they had played in the final. So we, we were motivated and we needed to, to reach at least uh, to the final also so that we could beat that record of the club, you know. But uh, unfortunately, we didn't do that. But uh, personally, I think we, we did well. And uh, those guys, you know, what they said, you know, it's um, unbreakable. Um, mm. It was. It's, it's not easy in the Champions League. It's uh, very, very... How, how did you feel, though, to be knocked out by Cotton Sports, you know, after getting past teams like our oh, You know, I remember that game that you played at Rufaro. They mm. beat you guys at Rufaro Stadium. Yeah. When I got to Rufaro, I was looking at those players from Cotton Sport. Mm. And, you know, their stature. Yeah. Mm. They didn't even appear like football players. Yeah. Um, what I say, I, see, I, I still remember, you know, the uh, the arrangement, you know, traveling arrangement, not by our own uh, executive, but uh, from the CAF set up. You know, we had to travel the long way, and there were scary moments on our way to Garua, uh, and the condition where we were living. Okay, I'll start when we stopped uh, stopped over in uh, Douala. You know, we were delayed, and we had to be uh, woken up uh, midnight to 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 board a plane. You know. And when we boarded the plane going to Garua, you know, there were scary moments whereby we passed the turbulence. That's when everyone thought life is gone. You know, we got there we, we, um, at the airport in early hours, you know, when we got there, there was no one. So I, I think it also affected a little bit to our players because we had to stay at least five hours. Then we were told we were traveling. Only to find out that from the airport to the hotel where we were going was only less than 10 kilometers. Yes. And then um, we got to the place where we were staying. It was not conducive. There was nothing. There was no water. There was no bed. We were sleeping on the floor. And uh, we spent about three days in, in Garoa before the match day. We only had Fanta to drink. We had no food, you know. The type of food we were getting, it was not, uh, it was not good. It was not properly <coughs> prepared, you know. So it affected a little bit in the in the in our dressing room. Mm. So and, you know mm. what, Jazz, you mm. you're talking about all these problems that mm -hmm. are found in Africa. Yeah. So you know when we are asking the question, does mm. FC Platinum and Triangle have what it takes? We are not necessarily looking at the mm. playing personnel. Yeah. Because you also need to look at that side. Mm. Are they mentally and and physically mm -hmm. strong enough? you know, to overcome such barriers? Mm -hmm. Because you guys, you were motivated by, you know, just wanting to do well. Yeah. So do you think the, these players still have the same mentality that you guys have? So that's the next question that I'll be asking you guys. Well, in 2017, Caps United under Lloyd Chitemwe went on a fairy tale, reaching the group stages after they knocked out um, TP Mazembe in the final qualifying round. In the group stages, they managed uh, to beat Zamalek and USM Algar 3 1 and 2 1, respectively. It was a campaign. Um, they managed to score 10 goals and were unlucky not to progress from uh, the group stages. But my question is uh, my question to you, Mo, is um, you know, was this a special side of uh, Caps United? It was a very special side, and um, I think what really happened there was uh, there was consistency in terms of the personnel and uh, the technical team. Lloyd Chitembo had built a very strong team, a formidable team, like uh, he was alluding to last time when he was here, and uh, he carried that to the uh, to the um, uh, Champions League. And what happened was, um, from a tactical point of view. I discovered that they were making sure that they do not lose away mm -hmm. and then they pick up points here at home. And it really worked out very well for them. So I think that was a very, very good team, uh, kept, kept team, and they did wonders. Okay. So FC Platinum are the latest team to do well in the CAF Champions League. They reached the group stages this year but failed to win a single game. It was a group that consisted of uh, ES Tunis, Oroya and Orlando Pirates. They only managed two draws against Orlando Pirates and suffered defeats to Oroya and ES Tunis home and away. So you are in the Champions League. Um, people always say you need to do enough to win at home. 
Mm. No matter what happens wherever you go, but you need to win all your home games. Mm -hmm. How important is that? You know, the, it is very important, you know, I, I would say, because uh, each team uses a home advantage. If you don't use a home advantage, nobody sympathizes with you when you travel. You know, there you, you get to a situation whereby uh, if you are unlucky, you get a situation whereby you get to a team who speaks Arabic, the ghetto officials who speaks Arabic. You don't understand anything, whatever they are saying, whatever they are doing. You find the, the textures of the game, they are really decided over there. So when you come play at home, match officials, they are limited. You know, they, they really respect uh, home teams. So I would think winning at home is it's really important. Yeah, I, I think, important. I think yeah. also the biggest challenge that uh, mm. FC Platinum and Triangle who are, have, are having is because uh, they don't play at home, like home home. You know, neither <laughs> Triangle cannot use Gibo and FC Platinum cannot use Manda. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it really affects, because when you go to Awakli, they will use their stadium and they will have 90,000 people in the stadium. And when you play uh, Orlando Pirates, I'll give that example. When uh, FC Platinum played Orlando, Orlando Pirates in, uh, at Baba Fields in Blue Oil, mm -hmm. the fans that came there were Orlando Pirates fans. fans. Mm -hmm. and it was going to be different if they had if gone, they had to, gone Mandawa. to Mandawa. It was right. going to be different. Mm -hmm. You know, the fans that came for the local match, mm -hmm. FC Platinum versus uh, Orlando Pirates, they were more than the South African Orlando <laughs> Pirates fans. When they played the same match, mm -hmm. if you noticed. Yeah. So, FC Platinum and Triangle, mm. they are not playing their matches they are at home. I just uh, hope th that's going to be sorted, especially for FC Platinum with the Mandava Stadium. I think it can be sorted and they can enjoy mm. home advantage. Mm, I hope so. Well, guys, remember in the studio we still have Freeman. So tell me something. What's your favorite song on uh, the album? Mm, I'm, not in, I'm, like, I'm not in a position to... know. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> uh, uh, all, all I can is. say is this is my best album so far. Oh, That's mm. what I can say, yeah. What? So oh, you, you like all the songs so far? I said this is my best of them. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you still ask me such a question? <laughs> all right, so what song uh, do you want to play us next? Uh, it depends with my DJs and my playlist. It could be Okwedo or Okwedo. Okay, no. <laughs> all right, go ahead. <laughs> Simplex music. I don't even want to be paid because I love kids. And yeah. talking about that too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, our topic today is does FC Platinum and Triangle have what it takes to leave a mark on the continent? Now, just as with good performances from FC Platinum and Triangle comes the chance for Zimbabwe to get extra slots. I'm sure it, it, it was done before. Remember, after your 
yeah. good in green yeah. performances. Uh, we had four, two extra slots, yeah. one in the Confederation Cup and one in the Champions League. But let's look at the teams that these guys are playing before we get out of here. Mm -hmm. Triangle will face Azam mm -hmm. in uh, the next round. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you look at FC Platinum, we're playing a team from Mozambique. But for FC Platinum, it's easier. If they beat that team, then they are in the group stages. But for Triangle now, they need to get past another stage for them to get into the group stages. Mm -hmm. it, it seems like uh, for FC Platinum, it's well said because they are playing familiar teams, teams from the southern part of Africa. Mm -hmm. Unlike me, I'm putting my bones in Mokandro, Ali Mokandro, Asek Mokandro, as my team, do you think it's, it's a bit easier for them now they are playing Songo from, from, from Mozambique? Yeah, if you see, um, let's say, um, in terms of uh, cli climate, right? Mm -hmm. um, I know when they go and play in Mozambique, you know, they will get the breeze. They will get the breeze weather, you know, and uh, probably we, we get that here too. It is an uh, advantage to them, uh, and, and unlike uh, other team which will play uh, against uh, Azam, uh, in Tanzania is very hot, and in Tanzania they play um, usually at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. is more like 1 p.m. here, and uh, th there is no breeze; it will be just humid. You know, the, uh, the weather will affect them uh, when they go to Tanzania. But here, for the guys uh, going to uh, FC Platinum, going to uh, Mozambique. It's not. It's not that uh, they are going to be affected with the heat in Mozambique and like uh, other uh, triangle. Mm. I think so. Mm. Looking at the team they've got, yeah. I think they only had a draw to Tere. Mm. Uh, yeah. When you look at uh, those players with a big profile, mm. the others, you know, Anna, guys or Magaya, those guys that are coming up, you know, from the junior side, in terms of playing personnel, because last time around, yeah. Norman was complaining about the playing personnel, mm -hmm. and they lost. Quite a number of players. The Moyo Twins, yeah. you know, um, who went to South in, Africa. In, in, in terms of personnel, uh, FC Platinum is still the. Mm. For FC Platinum, it's a little bit easier. Naturally, Zimbabwean, Zimbabwean League is better than Mozambican League. We've always been better. You than, think so? I know so. We've oh. always been better than Mozambican teams. <laughs> then, if you look at uh, Triangle, it's a little bit difficult because uh, Triangle is not our top, top, top. Here, they are conceding too many goals. Ah, you are a already, hater, already, they have conceded 70. Looking at their team, you will see Anna Chivea. Chivea has been in the business for too long for, for, for me. <laughs> I would say they need to come, show come up their team. defense. But um, if you look at the chances, okay, we hear you more and more. All right, do you? No zenda manewe pa kuchema Zimwe mangwa nandini ndicha Repu paradza Maiwe tutangira papi Maiwe, maiwe Maiwe tutangira papi Zibageza za chalezuwa Maiwe tutangira Launching his album, that's Mbeu and the Moze tribe. I know Mo is uh, one guy who will be going there. Yeah, we're going to spend an issue with you. Oh, I get to do it. I'm going to go up. 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 Oh, I'm going to go up. 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 I'm And more. Thank you so much, guys, for coming through.
Yeah, and not forgetting HKD boss. I hope Gango is around by the jingle. It has a jingle spackala. You know, the fusion. Look, the songs that you have given us, uh, we certainly hope uh, people will continue liking them. And uh, we hope you also come up with uh, probably one song that you really love mm -mm, from the album. Your favorite. Yeah, your favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm going to make sure we did that one in the fire. Andrea. Thanks for having me. Eh? No, no, no problem. We hope you come back when we call you again. So the couch are done and dusted for today. We back again next. Kwedu. We kwedu. We kwedu. Yeah. Regati munzu we kwedu. Yes, Mato Babanamai, Mumba Mobikia, Madana Amunonzo, Aja Tauru, Nawabuna, Nagumitisa, Mesema Jamuka, Shotika, and the Pochette Panuku, Pigida, Pacuda Kissi, a good in your weapon. artist once stated, only shooting stars break the mold. <laughs> but while it's the stars shoot at night, most of the artists sleep on their dreams. Instead of dreaming high and fighting harder, trust them with dreams to start them and let the stars gleam. Don't you think we might achieve the Zimbabwean dream? Well, fast forward, enough about the artists that trusted their dreams and let their passion pay off. Cause every day, another star was born. But will you be there to witness? Dream Star Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe's best talent search competition is back this 2019 on the 31st of August at HICC Rainbow Towers Harare from 6 p.m. till late. On 0775-775-775. Voting lines will be announced on our official Facebook page, Dream Star Zimbabwe. Dream Star. Dream higher and fight harder. Probably sponsored by the following.